Hey guys and girls, a uh, quick video here on a couple of cool different extensions slash add-ons for Chrome and for Firefox if you are a frequent user of the live streaming website Twitch uh, or Justin TV as a matter of fact. Um, so one of the main problems that I've seen, I've been, I've been quite an avid user of the site uh, over the years um, and one of the main problems I see from people is that um, they weren't properly notified when someone went live, they missed streams, they turn up to streams late and uh, it, you know, it annoys them. Um, so this is, uh, these add-ons slash extensions are pretty cool ways of knowing whenever something's gone live. Um, so the default way with Twitch is obviously that once you've once you've followed someone and um, that it can send email notifications um, but that's not an ideal way because that means you're always having to check your emails to see when someone's gone live um, at the same rate uh, the streamer might post to YouTube or to Twitter or Facebook but again you have to check those different outlets and, and you know it's not something that you can constantly constantly access but these these two different add-ons, they, they do help with that. They help uh, by implementing that functionality right into your browser. So it doesn't matter what web page you're on, what you're doing, you'll know if one of your, your people you're following goes live. Um, so the first one we're going to look at is on Chrome. Um, it's called Twitch Live. Um, for these kind of things, you always sort of need to make sure that you've got the latest version of the browser up and running because some of them don't have compatibility for older versions. So make sure to, to check yourself that you've got the latest version of Chrome or Firefox. Um, so here I'll, I'll, I'll give a link to both of the downloads in the, uh, in the description uh, for this video. Um, so the first one is called Twitch Live and it's for Chrome. Um, obviously I've already added it but you'll go to the page and then here it'll, it'll tell you to add it to Chrome, it'll install it and it'll update and everything like that. Um, and I just want to show you some of the functionality. Um, so you'll see here I've got a little icon uh, in the top right um, which it's, it might be a bit hard to see but it's, it's pretty much like a, a sort of a monitor slash TV screen looking icon here. Um, and the little one next to it notifies that one of the people I'm following uh, is live. And if I click on this um, it tells me that the the person who's live is Speed Demo Archive. They're doing their summer games done quick. Um, it says what game they're currently playing, what they've input in Twitch. Uh, so they're playing Spyro 2 at the moment, and how many viewers they've got. So just over 18, 18,000 there. Um, and the cool thing is, um, if no one is live, then that won't have any number next to it. But as soon as someone goes live, that number will pop up. Uh, you can additionally get a notification to pop up in the uh, the bottom right hand corner. Um, so it's a, it's a great way, as soon as you open your browser, you know, is anyone live, who is it, and what are they doing? And then from there, all you need to do is click, uh, and you'll go straight to their page. Uh, I'm going to pause this. Um, so I've gone straight to, their, straight to the Speed Demo Archive page, and now I can start watching them. Um, how it knows who you are, um, you don't actually have to log in. All you need to do is go to the options, and um, you can either do that from the add-on page, or you can right-click on the icon itself and click on options. Um, and all you need to do is give an account name for the account that you want to see who's following. So I put in my own account here. Um, I don't know why you do this, but if you want to see uh, who's live that one of someone else, another account is is doing, you can put in their account name. You don't need to log in. You don't need their password. Um, and there's a, a checkbox here if you want a notification to pop up when a new stream goes live. What that typically means is a little box will pop up in the bottom right hand corner um, saying someone has gone live the second they go live. Um, I find that this little icon is enough notif notification for me. If I see that go to one or if I see it, it's already at one that goes to two, I usually notice that, but you can have an additional pop-up if you so choose that. Um, so that's the Chrome side, Chrome side of things. All you need to do, put in your down oh, well, download it, install it, put on your the name of the, your Twitch TV account and it'll automatically, uh, it'll automatically show everyone you're following when they go live. Very useful, very, very useful. Uh, so now I'm going to go to the Firefox one. Uh, again, I'll put the link in the uh, description. Um, this is one's called. This one is called Justin.tv stream notifications, but it does do both Justin TV and Twitch TV. Um, some of you might know, but Twitch TV uh, spawned from Justin TV. Justin TV used to have a gaming section that has now spawned into its own site, Twitch TV. Um, so a little bit different. Not the same. Not the same developer. It's a different. It's a different add-on here. Um, you'll see in the top right, it's a it's a it's a little blue box, um, and there is a red uh, circle in the middle, uh, which means that someone is live. Um, so it's slightly different to the other one, where the other one would put a little 
a little number by by saying who's live. This one doesn't have a number indicator. It's just red. If at least one of your streams is follow, at least one of your streams is live, um, you can click on it and it will show you who's live again. Uh, it's taken my same information, so it's a speed demo archive. Uh, an additional thing here, I don't know if you want that functionality, is if you click down, it shows you who else you're following. Um, obviously, everyone else is offline that the speed demos archive the only one I'm following who's currently streaming at the moment but you can get a list to everyone else and you can click on their channel if you want to go to it if they're offline um, so same thing thing here you add it onto Firefox you install it you update it um, slightly different you get a few more options with this one um, I have just done the way that I did last time where I put in my username so everyone I follow um, automatically appears and um, you can also have it do it by based on actual channels if you don't want to get a notification for everyone you go live you just want to put in one channel say you can do that here uh, it has the same thing for JTV as well channels and users um, what it says it does uh, is it it says that if you've got your information saved, so if you've logged into Twitch and saved that information to Firefox, and it'll automatically pick it up. Um, I haven't tested that out uh, because I've just I've just put my name in here, so you don't even need to be logged in. Um, then there's just a few options here. One of the main ones being you can change it from an add-on bar widget, which will display down in the bottom right-hand corner, or a toolbar button. Um, and because I use the Chrome version. Uh, of the of the other add-on, uh, I'm more used to it being in the top right-hand corner, so I select toolbar button. Um, so again, the same functionality. You click on it, you click on it, you click on the uh, the actual thing, and, and it goes to their page. Um, it's just the difference of do you use Chrome or do you use Firefox, and whichever one you use more, obviously you, you'll pick that add-on. Um, from what I can tell, both of them seem to work pretty similarly. I'm more versed in the Chrome version and I use Chrome as a browser more often so I, I've always used this Twitch Live one um, and if you use Justin TV there is a separate one uh, so whereas the other one had both Twitch and JTV sort of in one this one has two separate ones JTV uh, and Twitch um, but I only I only pay I'm only followed on the gaming channel so I'm only paying attention to Twitch so as I said um, both links will be in the description and you should check them out. I, I highly suggest it. It's a really good way of knowing when someone you're, you're following is, is going live and is streaming. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to post a comment. Uh, and if this helped you out, if this is something that's going to be good for you, uh, like the video. Cheers. See ya.